see that the base of the sublimator is just barely submersed in the hot oil and uh, the oil is at 60 degrees and we will basically just leave that for six hours and by six hours all of your ASP3 more or less will have sublimed and we'll see what that looks like later on. Thanks for hours have passed and uh, we're gonna stop the sublimation now. So just want to raise it out of the hot oil and uh, we're gonna need to let it cool down for a little bit but just want to peek inside and make sure we have ASP3. So you can see, hopefully, on the cold finger, there's oh, wow. a bunch of crystals of ASP3. Uh, most of them are going to be on the bottom. But, uh, yeah, so it looks like we got plenty of compound. How many hours is this? So this has been about four hours. Usually let it go about six, but I have to leave early today, so uh, you it doesn't necessarily take six hours. I just usually let it go six hours. So you can take the contents, or you should always take the contents that remain in the bottom and recrystallize them, uh, just in case you miss any ASP3. Uh, it appears on the cold finger very rapidly, so it probably doesn't take very long at all to sublime. So it is a pretty volatile compound. Even at room temperature, it's pretty volatile. So what we'll do is just close the vacuum, and we'll keep the water running for another five minutes, and then while it cools down, and then we'll bring it in the glove box and isolate it. Uh, we should, the theoretical maximum for this reaction was about 500 milligrams, so we typically get between 60 and 70 percent yield. So we should expect about 300 milligrams of isolated solids, which looks like approximately what we got. So we'll see what happens when we weigh it out. <laughs> Still there. <laughs> Lens cap is up. So uh, the sublimator came back into the glove box and I scraped all of the crystalline ASP3 off. And here is the isolated ASP3. This is 300 and 30 milligrams, which represents about 63% isolated yield, which is typical for these treatments. So, so that worked out really well. ASP3 is in a bottle. And then in the bottom of our sublimator is uh, the dichloride. And we can basically just pour this into a, a vial and use it next time. So it's really great. We don't have to do anything else to it. So yeah. ASP3. This is really cool. How do you store um, AS the ASP3 now? So the ASP3, uh, if you're going to be storing it, I would store it in the freezer, minus 35. Uh, mostly just because you want to keep it out of the light. Because you can see it's pretty, like, kind of an off-white, yellow, peach color now. If it sat out in the light overnight, it would turn pretty red. Uh, is it, it would still be, you know, 90 Five ninety-six 96% ASP3, but just any amount of red phosphorus really discolors it. So, so that's it. It looks like... It's really sticky, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty waxy, much like P4. How does it look when you crystallize it? Uh, it's when you crystallize it, Off recrystallize solution. it from toluene, you'll get a really fluffy white powder. So, looks pretty different uh, in that case. <laughs>